Istanbul for the fourth time. But every time we visited here, we've loved the food more and more. It's really good. Quite good, actually. Oh my god. And realized how little we actually know about it. So today we've enlisted the help of Barry from Yummy Istanbul, and we're going on a food tour. Tell them what you're doing. What are you doing? Are you on a food tour? <laughs> What do you think? What is this? Our case? Blueberry! Bravo! They marinated these olives with the red beet. I had a question about yes, these. Do they. How do they get those marks? On? Do they grill them? Or? Yes, they do. Okay. I've been so intrigued. Uh, oh, gosh. We had these the other day, right? And um, I was. Wondering how, what, how they were done and they are grilled. Just found out. Okay, we're at stop three of ten places we're going today and we're having a traditional Turkish breakfast. The first two stops we got Simi, which is the Turkish like, bagel. And then we stopped at the market to get some cheeses and meats and we're having all the kind of traditional things. Um, there's a couple that are new for us, a juca, which is this like hot pepper paste. And then there's two uh, hazelnut spreads, which is delicious. There's clotted cream, there's sausage, there's pastrami, there's olives. It's our third Turkish breakfast uh, in a row. And we still have seven more steps. So good. What I love is that we're trying like a bunch of new stuff. I mean, I love, love Turkish food. Also, feel like over this tour, I'm going to love it even more. Yeah. Fun way to keep Hayes motivated on a long tour like this to keep moving is to count the number of cats that we're seeing we're around the Istanbul. Seven? And we're up to, we're up to seven. Thanks to this counting app that we downloaded before the tour. Number four, breakfast number two, is a like, lamb soup from Gaziantep, which is in the south. Uh, and it's what they would traditionally eat for breakfast, so like a warm lamb and rice soup. Uh, having our second breakfast, and it's this delicious lamb soup. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. It's got rice, got bits of lamb in it. It's also got some chili in it. We just added some rocket and some lemon. Mm. Oh my god, that is awesome. Still reasonable. Love lamb. This it's is still a bit, reasonably hot. It's a so, bit lamby for me, but it's served with these like beautiful leaves of rocket. And he said you can put it inside or you can just like take a bite. And that really cuts the gaminess. It's helping me out a little bit. I hate when I don't love something. I hate it so much. By the way, this is called Bayram. Hey guys, Steph from the future here. If you've been watching our videos for a little while, this will come as absolutely no surprise, but we booked today's tour through Get Your Guide. We absolutely love Get Your Guide. We've been using them for over a year now, and more recently, almost every week, while we make our way from Copenhagen to Tbilisi, Georgia, by train, seeing what we can see along the way. They have over 60,000 experiences in over 3,000 countries worldwide, and the best part is they have this like super easy to use app where you can book your tour, pay for your tour, get your voucher, find your meeting point, cancel it if you need to within 24 hours, and even get 24 seven support if an issue arises. If you would like to book this tour in Istanbul or any tour, ticket, experience, public transportation in basically every country you could visit. Check out our link below, put the one on the screen now. Promise you'll have a great time and it's also a really easy way to support this channel. First 
stop on the Asian side, which is our fifth stop, the fifth stop, whatever, is um, for East Kinder kebab, which is a very famous type of kebab. There is a pizza bread at the bottom and a lamb meat, sliced lamb donor meat uh, on top, and they pour uh, tomato sauce. And they finish with butter. They also serve with yogurt uh, and the tomato, fresh tomato and pepper. It's one of my favorites. How could it not be? It's like so rich and delicious. Um, and this is a very, very famous restaurant because I think he was saying that this is like the original family, which is not from Istanbul, but they've opened this location in Istanbul and it's still like within the family. They've already been very kind to Hayes. He did not want to eat it out of their mouths, but uh, Pete happily obliged. Out of their hands. <laughs> out of their hands. That would be weird. That would have been super weird. <laughs> Juice, uh, it's a very popular drink this, in this kind of uh, Iskander Kebab restaurant. And in Turkish, we say Şerefe, it means to honor. So guys, Şerefe. I'm so excited to try this. We got bread, we got meat, we got a bit of yogurt. Chili pepper. And the best part about this dish is the fact that a guy comes over with a hot pan of butter and douses it all. And it's really good. It, need, it needs it. It warrants it. We're on our way for a pickle stop, but we just briefly stopped uh, in a candy store to get Lokum uh, Turkish Delight. If you want to see that, you'll have to watch our next video where we take the do Espress. Go spread. I still can't say it. We're taking a 24 hour train across Turkey. Evet. And so we got some locum as train snacks. <laughs> Food tour may be over for us because he has found a fish market and now we've lost the group. <laughs> Where are you from? So, USA? What's your name? What's your name? Hey, H A Y S. We've just entered pickle heaven. Can't wait to try. We're also going to drink some of it as well. Pickle juice. Great for our hangers. Which I don't have today. Which is rare. You want to try some? What is it? Juice. Oh, what is it? Be careful. Be careful. What are those things? It's juice. If you don't want to finish, you can leave it there. What is this inside? Pickles. What are, what are the elves inside? I don't know. Do you want to try it or not? Okay. Say something, if we have any of our Koreans still watching, I think Turkey might have you beat for the amount of times Hayes is giving candy. Until now, the record was the South Korea, but I don't know. <laughs> um, we're in a pickle shop, where apparently when you go to a pickle shop, you drink pickle juice. It's literally a cup of pickle juice and pickles. All different kinds of pickled vegetables in here. It's, it's delicious, actually. I feel like this with the Iskender would have been perfect because it was so creamy and heavy and like fatty and this is pickle juice. Should we get some pickles for the train tomorrow? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's get some of these like Konishan, the smaller ones. Garlic. I don't have anything else. Hey, how's your candy? Second lunch, our like seventh stop, a place called Chia, which is made famous on the Netflix show um, The Chef's Table. 
for really delicious meze and other things. We're having meze, we're having lama chew, and we're now having a bunch of stuff. Yes, exactly. More <laughs> foods. <laughs> we have an on main dish. So anyway, we've had cold meze, we had a thyme salad, we had a yogurt eggplant dish, we had a hummus, we had beets. For hot meze we had, oh no, we also had sarma and dolma. One means stuff, one means roll. Don't mess it up. For hot meze we had lama chun. Was that the hot meze? And now we're having zucchini. Hot meze is ichli kofte. Oh, the kofte! Sensitive. Sensitive meatball, yes. That's sensitive meatballs. <laughs> you have to be careful when you eat that sensitive meatball. <laughs> it's covered with uh, bulgur, and inside there is meat, walnuts, spices. Uh, it's a hot meze, they have to serve hot. And now we're having our mains, which is the zucchini. Yes, and stuffed this, zucchini. What, what's this one? And this one is shakriye. Shakriye. There is lamb meat inside and onions, and they marinate in with uh, milk as well. I sincerely apologize. The horrendous job I'm doing the descriptions. It's just that we've been eating non-stop for five hours now. I'm full and tired. We've got two or three more stops. So full. This is our fourth stop on the Asian side, which means it's our eighth stop of the tour. Yes, true. It's, it's literally, we're in our fifth or sixth hour of eating, and now we're having intestine sandwiches. Lamb intestine. Quite good, actually. We're also having it with iron. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Do you like more? I can order more. <laughs> Guys. Oh. <laughs> Got me. It's not bad. Those no? Yeah. I'm eating all day. That's pretty solid. Yeah, it's that's the color of Fenerbahce, by the way. Very correct place. What did you say? Thank you. Did she hear you? I said she's Shakira. The Shakira! In a straight line. It's got, it's got to that part of this six hour tour that Hayes is losing it and so we... <laughs> I'm losing it more. This is probably a good time to talk about how we booked this tour. No, but if you want a reminder, we booked this to Get Your Guide and so did the other Peter. Peter's, I guess we haven't talked about Peter. Oh, can I talk about Peter? So there's one other person on our tour. Really lovely guy, his name is Peter from Germany. Hi, if you're watching. And uh, he was here for the Galatasaray versus Bayern Munich game, which was last night. And he's he's been awesome. And he actually works for Bayern Munich, so that's been really fun for me, because we've been talking about football and stuff. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Anyway, Peter booked his tour through Get Your Guide. And so did we. And you can too. Bari was saying that you can't advertise alcohol in uh, Turkey. So like all of these pubs have like symbols. So plus one means they sell Ephes. Greatness means Guinness, and there's all these like codes. Look at this. I bring this up because when your tour is a British person or a German person, while I was in the bathroom, they negotiated to add an off script uh, stop for a beer to this tour. So here's the status on Hayes' balloon from earlier. What happens when you bump it too hard? Everything's a lesson. Shout out, Fair. I think, I think we all have deserved this for, uh, yeah. for having a four-year-old on a tour with us. Stop nine, stuffed mussels. We've seen these everywhere. Their mussels are stuffed with rice and other things, and spices, and they look delicious. I order, you know, four regular ones, and these are no, spicy ones. We eat with two hands. I'll show you, I'll, I will sacrifice myself yeah. again, you see. Excuse lemon here. And with two hands, it's help with the shell. Enjoy. Okay, does he like as well? Does he? 
He, he used, to, he used love to love them. Lately. You on? That one regular. He wants to buy it. Oh. <laughs> but it's not that normal. Do you like it? <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> All right, I'm going. And these are spicy ones. I'm going yeah. for the. I'm going for the spicy one. Mmm. Mmm. It's nice. It's, <clears throat> it's cold, which I wasn't expecting. And a nice kit. Not not that spicy, but it's nice with the lemon on it. Would it be even better if you were hungry? Yeah, do I want to eat 20 when I normally eat mussels? I normally eat like loads of them. I'm so full. I'm just like, this is a lot. Those are regular. You want lemon? Can I just eat it like this? Absolutely. This one has mm. sauce. We just had to do it two handed. I'm breaking the rules. Get an ice cream and baklava. I forgot. What a good way to end the tour. All of a sudden, you have room? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Have room. I always have room for ice cream and baklava. We were just instructed on how to make a Turkish ice cream and baklava sandwich. You flip it over, the syrup goes to the bottom, then you cut it in the middle where the nuts are. You take a slice of your Turkish ice cream, because you can slice Turkish ice cream. Um, you take another slice for good measure. We're gonna put the top back on. How did I do? Just cut or eat or just you can oh, eat yeah, it. Yeah, you gotta hold it. Get it with your hand as well. You cut it in half. It's melting. Oh, from, from the from middle. middle. From the middle? Yeah. I messed it up? Did I not make it right? <laughs> no, I did, but then he did the final part, it was just like cut oh, down. Whoa. Still is good. A great way to end a tour. Okay, I think that's a wrap. We have been eating for almost seven hours straight. It's been incredible. It's been so great. Uh, Bari was a great guide. If you've made it this far in the video, let us know. You've made it this far in the video by commenting below if you think he looks like Mark Ruffalo, like a Turkish Mark Ruffalo. Anyway, this was a great tour. We're exhausted. Tomorrow we're taking the train to Ankara to catch the Doe Express all the way across Turkey to Kars, and we hope you'll continue to follow along. And if you're in Turkey, we recommend this tour. If you go on it, let us know. Follow us on Instagram, Steph and Pete with an underscore. We appreciate y'all. Bye. I don't want to leave you hanging. The cat count. What time is it? No, Six o'clock. Six o'clock. We started at 10 a.m. The cat count is 46. I bet 34, so I've lost. Ace bet 49. I bet 52. I'm liking the chance. Don't go too close to the heat.